demonstration I'm going to do today is one that kind of has evolved for me. It's variously called the spirit of chemistry, uh, genie in a bottle, uh, things like that. You, it used to be, I teach or have been teaching at a small Catholic school in California, and for years we would just have the eighth graders from the Catholic feeder schools come in and they just kind of pretend like they were going through a regular day. Well, about 30 years ago, demographics changed. And they said, that's not going to work. We have to sell the school. So instead of having the eighth graders just attend classes and walk through the day with us, we had to put on a show. So this is the one that I use. I'd make up some sort of a story. Um, maybe I was um, surfing in Arizona or uh, beachcombing in Finland, something like that. Found this bottle. It's kind of interesting. Took the cap off and a genie appeared. I said, That's really cool. And the genie was really grateful because he'd been in there so long. And he was a very scientific genie. He said, I will help you for setting me free. I will help you get enthusiasm into your students. I said, well, that's cool. I've got just a place to use you. So I go through, and of course, the eighth graders don't buy this at all. But that's OK. Um, you're kind of selling your attitude in a case like that. So I tell them, well, I'll, I'll have a student come up, and he'll, that student will be my thermal expert. Room temperature? Less than room temperature, more than room temperature. It's about room temperature. OK, let's see. I take the top off and let the genie appear. Can you feel the enthusiasm just seeping into you? Isn't this marvelous? Oh, I just want to learn. It's so exciting. This goes on for a bit. You may or may not know how this works, but I'll show you in a minute. But as the, as the steam dies down, I'll get that same thermal expert to come back up. If you're going to do this, warn them to be very careful. This is hot. Um, this is going pretty well, actually. <laughs> What does it take to set off the smoke alarm in here? OK, what I want to do is show you how I did this and what else you can do with it. But let me, let me take you over to the board for a minute. What this reaction is, is the thermal decomposition of, or catalyzed decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, this is a 30% aqueous solution, decomposes in the presence of a catalyst. My catalyst is uh, manganese 4 oxide. Products are water vapor, which is what you see coming out, and oxygen gas. So this is the process. What I'm going to do is run it again and kind of show you how I, I put it together. But this time, we're going to use a two liter bottle. Set that one over here. and. If we can come in kind of close here, this is, well, you know what this is. You can tell by looking at it. But this is only one of the two plies. OK, I want very thin. I have the manganese 4 oxide. This is only a catalyst, so the amount is not at all critical. But you can see I've put a small pile of it in there. Fold up the corners, pinch it together, tie it off with a piece of thread, and use dark thread. Um, 
it works better. Cut off the excess. So right now I've got a pretty long piece of thread and a sachet, tea bag, whatever you want to call it. Two liter bottle, stopper with a hole in it. That is critical. I had a hole in this one. If something goes wrong, there has to be an escape for the oxygen gas and the steam. Okay. I'm going to put some 30% hydrogen peroxide in there. 30% hydrogen peroxide is not trivial stuff. Gloves. When you teach for 40 years, you get pretty casual about wearing gloves and things like that. But, you know, like I was saying, there's old chemists and bold chemists but there are no old, bold chemists because the bold ones don't get to be that way. Old. Okay. I'm going to use a funnel to put the peroxide in the bottle. I like to use a long stem funnel for this and you'll see why in a minute. When I'm filling the first flask, I can't see how much I'm getting. So I suppose I should close my eyes now. But I'll look. How much am I using? Uh, 75 milliliters, 100 milliliters. I don't measure it. Arguably, if some's good, more is better, but that's not always the case. have a place to put the funnel when you're through with it. In my case, it's right there. Now I have my tea bag, sachet, whatever. I'm going to hang it down in there. And I'm all set to go. Trim off the thread. If you leave a little bit, nobody's going to see it. They're looking here. When I take the lid off, releases the hold on the thread, and we'll see it again. Whoops. Sometimes stuff happens. You're doing a demonstration in your classroom. You have something all set up. Doesn't go the way you want it. Do it again, like that. Oh, wow. That ring stand was snug up here before. How do I explain that? I know. Remember what I said about this one? Who was in the bottle? Jeannie. Jeannie's gone now, right? He's not pushing out anymore. He was in there trying to get out. Now he's out. And aren't you really just enthused to learn chemistry now? <laughs> this is how you make one liter bottles, by the way. You start with a two liter and shrink it down. But, that's a little known industry trade secret. OK, demonstration, various names, lots of ways to do it. Those eighth graders that see this in the eighth grade come back. That's what they remember when they're juniors. They see it exactly the same way again. The ones that get to the AP class find out how I did it. It's a fun demonstration, one that's been around a long time, but one you can do a lot with.